And today, two GET board members may learn their fate as city leaders vote on whether or not to remove them from office. 23 ABC's Leslie Muddy in live from City Hall, where the vote is expected to take place at this evening's city council meeting. Leslie? Well, you guys, in the last month, we've seen as multiple city council members have called out these two board members asking for their resignation. But with board members refusing to step down tonight, their future may be left in the hands of city council. The get bus strike may be over, but the problems still persist. It really just points to me that we have symptoms and it's pointing to a larger problem. For the last month, city council members have spoke out against Norris Ledbetter and Howard Silver, two men on the get bus board of directors. And I don't really cherish the idea of removing board members in what is a pretty precarious position, but I have a real sense that there's a real problem. On August 21st, Vice Mayor Ken Weir wrote a letter demanding Ledbetter and Silver resign, following failed union negotiations that left get bus riders stranded for more than a month. In the letter, Weir asked the men to resign by September 1st to, quote, eliminate the need to further embarrass you and diminish your years of service. But just days later, the two board members fought back, saying supervisors and council members promoted divisiveness during the get strike. If this is the council's desire, you may place our names on the agenda. To reiterate, we will not be further embarrassed, as your letter states, because we have performed our jobs diligently. Well, if the city does vote on removing the board members, they'll be able to start immediately recruiting new hires. Back to you.